Hey guys, it's me, Troy Dellinger, and today I'm going to be talking about the book of Ruth, and I just want to talk about Ruth because I feel like, uh, you know, it doesn't get talked about enough, it doesn't get preached about enough, and, you know, we just kind of pass, people just kind of pass Ruth by, and um, I, I don't think that we should uh, pass by any parts of the Bible. All scripture is inspired by God, and it's all important to uh, know and understand uh, the the book of the book of Ruth. Um, if you actually really understand what it's really teaching, um, it, it's actually a really really great book. You know, it's not just a romance book, but it's really it's really about God's mercy and redemption um, towards you know Israel, uh, towards um, people that are you know poverty stricken and less fortunate people that are foreign people like uh, Ruth and it, it really is a beautiful uh, story so that's why I'm going to talk about it uh, this is going to be an, on a new playlist on a new project that I'm working on called biblical history and extras and on my channel Bible video productions um, I was uh, I did a whole uh, series called biblical history. And that was mostly about Israel's history. And uh, you can watch that on my other channel, Bible Video Productions. If you'd like to subscribe to that, you can feel free. Uh, but this is going to be on a new playlist called Biblical History and Extra Extras. Basically, um, this, is, this is not going to be just solely about Israel's history in its chronological order. This is going to be a little bit about Israel, but this is also going to be about extra stuff, even certain things that is not in the Bible, but it was there during biblical, uh, the biblical timeline. Uh, so this is, so this is what I'm going to be doing here on this channel now, and I'm going to be doing a series of videos on this and I'm starting off on the book of Ruth and, um, now, just to be clear, the book of Ruth is in the Bible, so it's a part of Scripture, and that's why I'm talking about it. Um, so, basically, the story starts off with uh, Naomi and her family, and they are Israelites. Uh, uh, members of their family die, and uh, Naomi's uh, sons uh, marry the uh, Moabites. They 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 are they live in Moab because. They moved out of Israel because of uh, of a famine, so they were uh, having some hardships. They were about they were in distress, and this is really a, a story about you know God getting uh, uh, an Israelite family through um, hardship and distress and uh, enduring through tribulations and and bringing redemption. Um, so we have uh, Naomi and her daughter in laws. And, uh, at this point, uh, their husbands are dead. And now remember Moab is not a, uh, Israelite land. Uh, Moab is a foreign, um, uh, basically a pagan land. Um, they don't know the God of Israel. Um, so, uh, these are people that are outside of God. They don't know who God is. But Naomi, she says she wants to go uh, to back to her country, and Na and, and Ruth, uh, the Moabite, she um, is from uh, Moab, but uh, she decides to go with Naomi, and she says, and she does she decides to convert to know the God of Israel, uh, to become Jewish, and she says, um, um. Your people will be my people, and my God, your God. It says that in Ruth uh, 1, 16 through 17, and I, I love that verse. That is an absolutely uh, beautiful verse. So in faithfulness, uh, she decides to leave her land, leave her people, and to, to in order to know the God of Israel, she turns away from her idolatry, and she uh, converts and goes in with uh, Naomi, and they travel to the land of Israel. Um, so during this time period, um, she, uh, they return and, uh, the issue of the famine is resolved. Uh, she gets with Boaz and Boaz, Boaz is, a, is of a higher class than her. 
Um, but uh, they fall in love and they get married. And um, they uh, and, and Boaz shows kindness to uh, Ruth, even though she's a foreign lady and she's of a lower class. And but he he reaches down to her and they uh, fall in love and they get married. And this is the um, these are uh, King David's uh, great grandparents. So these uh, people would uh, David would be the offspring of these people. So they had a key. They were the key in the um, in the uh, royal uh, lineage of da of King David. Um, so uh, what do we learn from the Book of Ruth? Well, uh, as I said, it's a story about redemption. It's a story. It's a picture of Christ. It's about Christ and His Church. Uh, Boaz uh, representing Christ and Ruth representing the Church, um, and 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 it's about. Um, you know, God uh, reaching down with Israel through hard times, through hardships, and it's a really great book. And I would encourage every uh, student of the Bible to read script, uh, to uh, read the book of Ruth, because it is scripture, and it's very important to read and understand, especially with the context of the rest of the Bible. And uh, that's all I got, and thank you for watching.